2022's top eight movies. JR is going to give us his top eight movies that he's viewed in 2022. Let me fill him up with a little liquid courage to reveal. Champagne. This is a, uh, a, a blood word. orange spumante from Italy. Excellent, top notch stuff. Great. What do you think? Kicking it, I like you it. You like it's it, really right? Good. It's really good. Hard to find, by the way. You got to order it. A little bit but bubbly, but definitely tasty and good for celiacs, by the way. Okay. FYI, if you're into that stuff. But we are here to hear what the man himself, Jr., is going to t reveal his top eight movies of 2022, which might be from a different year. Yeah. I had one from a different year. Yeah. He might be doing it, but the rule is. Watched it in 2022 doesn't necessarily... For the first time. For the first time. So, but JR... We do want you, before we start, to like, subscribe, mm -hmm. and then comment uh, what you think of my top eight list. Yeah. Uh, make sure to watch Dane's top eight list, too, so you can compare what he put in his eight, top eight list and then what I put in my top eight list. So, which one of us is going to be less filling, more taste? Yeah. We'll you see. know what? <laughs> we, what we'd like you to do... But this would be kind of fun. Go watch his top eight list. Watch this top eight list. And then grade us from A to F. On, yeah. In the on, comments, please. In the comments, We've, yeah. We heard some people were uh, thinking the like button was a poll to say you like the movies or you don't. No, 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 no. We like us. Yeah. You like <laughs> us. Then you comment and that's where you can be a troll if you want to or yeah. tell us where we miss things. So, all right. Right. So, Dane, before I start my top eight, okay. I've got three honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Now, the first honorable mention is Everything Everywhere uh, All at Once. Yes. So, yes. Michelle Yao, this was, yep. this was a, a movie about the multiverse. Basically. I was like, what wasn't it about? <laughs> yes. I love the, uh, the, the multiverse where everybody's got the sausage fingers. Remember that? Oh, the I should have brought fingers. out my sausage fingers. The hot dog fingers, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this was this was kind of a mind bender, you know what I mean? And kind of like, wait, now what? What's going on here? I probably recommend you watch it twice at least because the first time Minimal. you watch it, it's gonna confuse you a little bit. But it is really a unique movie, right? Something like really, you really kind of hadn't seen that before, you know what I mean? There were elements that you hadn't right. seen before. And, and I don't, you know, Michelle Yao was just on, like, the Sunday morning program. Yeah. And, yeah. and she was actually super impressed. I guess they had originally asked Jackie Chan. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I'm still... Oh, no, go you ahead. You let me know. They had originally asked him to do it. Oh. And he had turned it down. Oh. And so then they called her, and he and it's, it gave it the part to her. And then he called her later and was like, by the way, you know they offered that to me first? And wow. she's like, well, thank you for letting me do it, because... That was the thing about that movie is who the heck else could do all the martial arts but yet so like yeah. serious and old time like Chinese Well, I'm family. actually glad it was Michelle Yao. Yeah. Uh, I think she did such an excellent job and we, I was very entertained by that movie. Yes! yes! It didn't make the top eight. I know. All right. Probably because it was too confusing. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, Next. actually, actually I only have two. Mm. Two on the honor button. Limited. The other one is Bullet Train. Oh. Brad Pitt. Yeah. I have not seen it. Oh, uh, well, that's why it's probably not on your top eight. It is not on my top eight. And it's not on mine either. It's in the honorable mentions. But yeah. you know what was so funny was uh, I got a call from my parents. And uh, they were watching it like on a streaming channel or something. And they called up and they said, we couldn't get past 20 minutes of this movie and we turned it off. Really? And I was like, oh, is that bad? It's one of the reasons why I haven't turned it on. I go, this. is that bad? <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's horrible. Mm. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to watch it. I watched it and I was like, "That was a good movie." I was gonna say your dad loves action. Oh, uh, but it, so what happens is there's a lot of action. Yeah. But there's a lot of stylistic kind of weirdness to it. Oh. And I could Close see up where talkies, like, if, if yeah. you're if that's not your thing, mm -hmm. you're not gonna like this. Oh. But I liked it. It was really okay. good. Almost made the top eight list, but didn't. Didn't make it. Yeah. Well, there, there you go. There's yep. the reason. All right, number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight for me was Elvis. Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Yeah. Lemonade. Now, I was hoping Elvis, when I saw those trailers, that this would have been, you know, a lot better. Like, I still loved it. Loved the music. Loved learning. A lot of things about Elvis. What kept it back was that they told this whole movie 
through the lens of Colonel John Parker Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. And to me, that shouldn't have been the case for an Elvis biopic. And that was right. our criticism when we yeah. did our review of it. But yeah, I loved it. I still loved it. It still made my top eight. It was a great movie. But it could have been a whole lot better, Dane. It could have been a whole lot right. better. Right. I mean, because I think you had much better expectations. Because I think in Americana, people really think of Elvis as kind of like a really great character, for lack of a better word. You know, because yeah. he always seems so cheery in all his movies, and that's kind of obviously that's most people in America. Most people, think. but this movie definitely looked at the other sordid side of things. Right. And Colonel Tom Parker being the villain, yeah, it is an odd pick to pick the villain to actually be the voiceover narrator for most yeah. of the movie and basically the main character. In yeah. Ways. So Elvis was my number eight. Number eight. Yeah. What's numero set? Number seven for me was The Woman King. Oh, The Woman King. Another yeah. one I have not seen. That's yeah, maybe why it's not in your yes. top eight. So, <laughs> it, but Couldn't you know, get to I, it I can't yet. believe you haven't seen it. You run a YouTube channel watching oh, movies and God. you haven't seen this movie yet? I'm going to turn my card in. Yeah. So that that's an inside joke from something else. So um, I had somebody... Actually, from work. We'll do I a think. review of it once I get around. Yeah, <laughs> but no, go ahead. We, no, we had. I had somebody from work who found out that I do a YouTube channel and uh, watch Maybe. movies and do TV, Maybe. and they said, "Oh well, what did you think of this one movie?" And I go, "I haven't seen that yet." And they're like, "What? You run a How YouTube channel for you? movies and you haven't seen this movie oh, yet?" God, I'm like, I can't watch every movie. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, but it was it was kind of funny. But for me, the Woman King was very, very good. It was full of action, mm -hmm. had a great story, a great mother-daughter connection. Now, I've seen some criticisms of this movie uh, where, you know, this was based on kind of like some real things that happened, but maybe they took some artistic license. Some people think it was woke. I, I watched it. I couldn't find the wokeness in it. I thought I just saw a good story in it, and I really liked The Woman King, and um, learned a lot and would recommend The Woman King. So, All right. Yeah, it was a great movie. I will so. definitely see that. We'll do a review of that one. Okay. Well, that's the Dahomey? Or, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, so. And they, they're supposed to be the women that actually inspired the women fighters. From the Wakanda, yeah. The Wakanda forever, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, cool. So. Nice to see history being uh, played out properly. Yeah. So, my number, number seven, six. Six, six. Werewolf by Night. Ah, we were close there. Yeah. That was, what, five for me. So if you have not seen Werewolf by Night, first of all, go check it out. I promise you, it's not that long. It's only like 50 minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's not a long movie. It's And it's a one-off movie on Disney+. Plus. Yep. Then after you watch that, go and watch our review of Werewolf by Night. Uh, that movie review, we've got a lot of kind of buzz on that because we took a long time to edit that put in a lot of special effects a lot of fun kind of mm. little tidbits but you gotta watch it from end to end and it looks kind of cheesy old school purpose <laughs> purpose <laughs> <laughs> purpose yeah so <laughs> werewolf by night with gael bernal garcia, garcia. yeah yeah i i thought it was an excellent movie i actually Wished it was a little bit longer because it could have been a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. They could have but, really drawn that out. They could have like, definitely put in another 30 minutes there. Yeah. And and it wouldn't have been bad at all. So, But, yeah, I, I, I highly recommend, if you have not seen it, to yep. go see it. Yeah. All right. So what are we on? Number six? Five. Five for you. Okay. So my number five is The Forgiven. I don't know what that is. The so we did, we did a trailer reaction for it. Oh, and it stars, uh, was it Ray Fiennes? And, um, uh, gosh, what's her name? So they are driving out in the middle of Morocco. And they're oh, going to a party. Oh, yeah, and they hit a... They, they hit a boy. Name. Yeah. Kills him. Right. So the local tribesmen come in, and they look pretty fierce. So I, I watched it. So we're, we're in January 2023. I think I watched this. In the summertime, so it's been a while. Oh. But, um, hmm. so, so what happens is he hits this boy, and they go to this big party. It's out in the middle of nowhere, Morocco. Mm -hmm. And they notify the boy's family that he's been killed. And it's like, kind of like a Moroccan warlord son just shows up. Right. Says, 
you owe us. And so he's like, oh, how much do I owe you? Like, he's like, he's gonna, they're like, no money. You owe us the time to come bury him, you know, mourn him, stuff like that. Oh. So he, he accepts, but everybody goes, you're crazy if you go. They're going to kill you. Uh -huh. They're going to kill you if you go. Okay. He goes, well, I can't say no. And so he goes out. And that's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what happens. Because they're in the tra now that you're talking about, it, I remember in the trailer, there's definitely something else yes. going on there. But yeah. I don't remember. No, but what? it's. it's just, I want to know. I just want to let you know. This is one of those movies with a slow burn to it. Mm. But to me, it was worth it at the end. Okay. And I found it very entertaining. Okay. All right. I will so see that, was, that. That was number five. Number five. Number six. Four. That's right. We're going the other way. Number four. Number four. The Black Phone. Mm. Ethan Hawke. Hadn't seen it. Probably why, probably why it's not in your top eight. So. Somehow, <laughs> yeah. That one I just did. We had so much to do at Halloween, and that came out before Halloween, right? It was like... It came out this last summer. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, all right. So, it obviously was a scary kidnapper movie with some Ethan Hawke with a mask in a basement and a bunch of kids locked up down there or something. Well, you just described it. Right? Well, that was a trailer. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that was all in the trailer. Yeah. Isn't there more than that? There is more than that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, I mean, I, that was that was a good synopsis of the premise. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm not going to go into details and give oh, anything away. Sorry. But, um, so, yeah. I guess I did see it. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> but, you, but based on that premise, you found it absolutely outstanding to make it your number four. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I was like, you know, that was one of the best well-written horror movies in a while. Wow. Yeah. Because it... Because from better my than, standpoint... Better than Barbarian. Better than Barbarian. Because from my standpoint, it doesn't strike me as a horror movie. Just the, from the way the trailer was. So you're saying it's, it definitely it, you know what? Here's, turns here's around the deal. a little bit. It's classified as horror. Okay. And there's reasons why it's classified okay. as horror. But it's not It's not Evil Dead, you okay. know, whatever. It's not Saw. It's, yeah, it's yeah, it's not like that. So Okay. But it was very well written, very well acted. Right. Where is this going to go... Kind of movie that will be on my next Halloween list. There you go. So I got what eight months? Yep. So now I got <laughs> what are you three? Three movies left. Three movies left. So number three. Number three. The menu. Mm. Another Ray Fiennes, right? I know. You, Ray, well, hey, you can't go wrong with that guy. He's a great you? actor. He's a great. I actor. had been, I had him as number what number seven or six on mine. Yeah. Now I didn't watch it twice like you did. Two times in a row. But I... I'm still great. I absolutely love this movie. And um, I'll, I'll just give the high-level premise if you haven't seen this. Um, there's a secluded island that uh, is inhabited by a, a, fam a world-famous chef. He's kind of got this island to himself, uh, paid for by a partner of his. Mm -hmm. And on this, he's got a restaurant where he's been conducting awesome. these, like weekend getaways for the rich and famous to come in and you know sample the cuisine of the a, most in, in, in you know greatest yeah. food of all time yeah so so he has uh brought in all these people rich famous uh and uh well-to-do people to try you know some of the best food well Turns out that he has a little bit more on the menu than just the food. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get into what that is, but it is a very interesting movie that we really probably should do a review on mm -hmm. so we can talk about the Spoilers. motives, the objectives, the characters, and what happens, what transpires in right. that. But and, if you, and, and cheeseburgers. Yes, yeah, cheeseburgers. <laughs> so if you have not seen the menu... I highly recommend that you see the menu. I think it's just now been put out on HBO Max. You can go check it out there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So that's my number three, day. All right. Number two. Number two. Dose. The Batman. Oh! So close. The Batman. So close to number one. Yes. Robert Pattinson. Tell us why. I mean, this was a movie where we had so much anticipation but yep. we didn't know what we were going to get you know we knew robert pattinson was in it but we were like does he have the acting chops to pull this off yeah we knew that matt reeves was going to direct this we knew that Matt reeves 
We knew that the Riddler was going to be the main foil, not the Joker. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. That's all they would let us in on. And when we went in, we were immediately immersed into a new world of Batman. Because we've seen all the, you know, uh, Tim Burton Batmans, right? Seen all those. Then we've seen all the Christopher Nolan Batmans, right? Seen all those. But this was a different kind Wasn't of Batman. Wasn't there a Michael Bay Batman, too? Wasn't no. the last one? Who was the one who did George Clooney's? Uh, Joel Schumacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So we, we, but we've seen all those Batmans. And those were the campy Batmans. Those were the serious Batmans with Christian Bale. Well, how is this one going to be? And this one was even grittier than the Christian Bale. More Batman's. serious, yes. More serious. And more, more noir than... You know, we back to kind of the detective roots. First of all, you got to see the reemergence of the back computer. Now, question. Is there any bank in Gotham City which Black Widow has not robbed? My word. Whatever he is, Batman must be operating his remote control bat computer oscillator. Ah, here we are. The just opened Heritage First National Bank. Remember? <laughs> what oh, yeah. you saw always in the Adam West? Right. You know, they would use the back computer and it would spit out a card with the answer. I forgot about that. They kind of had something like that. The Batmobile was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the action was amazing. And then, you know, just Batman using. And what was amazing, or what, what I liked about it was. Batman wasn't always right in his assumptions. Yeah, that's He true. would make assumptions, and he would go on them, and then later on he would learn that he was wrong. He made the wrong assumption, right. and it cost him things. Right. So it was it was just a real, realistic Batman for Oh, me. yeah. I so, mean, you know, he'd get a clue, and he obviously misinterpreted a clue properly, and then, I'll, oh, wait, i got to go, you know, where's my right. thumb drive? Right. <laughs> Yeah. There was a little but there was some humor too. Yeah. No. <laughs> a right. little bit. But All right. It was great. So that was my number 2. Number 2. What so, was your number 1? Don't worry, darling. Don't worry, darling. No. Wait, what? It Hold was, on, I get to guess. No, no, was, I I'm, get to guess. I'm just telling you don't worry, darling. <laughs> oh, sorry. It was Top Gun. <laughs> oh, it was Top Gun. <laughs> I yeah. it was going to be like Christmas story Christmas. Oh, or last no. night in Soho. Yeah. Well, I thought about Last Night in Soho, but that was a 2021 movie. It was? Yeah. I guess I saw it in We watched it in 2022. Yeah. Okay. But, so, um, so yeah, it was Top Gun. Because that was one of those movie experiences that it you only get it every couple of years. You know what I mean? Right. When Lord of the Rings comes out or when, when uh, uh, you know, the very first time you saw John Wick and you were like, what? What's going on there? You know, uh -huh. when you saw The Dark Knight and you saw Heath Ledger's <laughs> Joker for the very first time, when you saw Pulp Fiction in the theater for the very first time, and you had no idea where this was going to go, when you saw Dances <laughs> with Wolves or Saving Private Ryan or The Matrix for the very first time, Top Gun was one of those experiences for me. So, <coughs> Yeah? I was going to say, what about oh. Ace Ventura when you saw that for the first time? Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. No, <laughs> I was I was only so sad the Ace Ventura movies. Yeah, but no, it was an absolutely outstanding movie. Outstanding. Go look at mine to figure out where I put it in the list. Outstanding movie. But Tom Cruise does it again, and um, you know, it was you know it was had it hit all the beats as far as action. Here it comes. Smoke in the air, Phoenix, break right! Emergency, Jackson! Jackson's redefending! Here comes another one! Jackson, we're defending! A little humor, a little romance going on, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Evil Russians. Yeah, well, they didn't say. Oh, that's right. It was the unknown country. That's right. So, but, uh... You know, some people say it was North Korea. John Hamm. So, yeah. John Hamm is the... wife thinks that's his best role ever. John really? Hamm. Yes. Oh, okay. She loves him in that movie. Oh. 
Hmm. Okay. I kind of like them in the <laughs> progr progressive commercials with Flo, chasing around Flo. Flo? Gosh, it's been forever. You look fantastic. It's John. Ham from the blind date we went on years ago. Ah, the struggling actor who didn't believe he could save his snapshot based on how and how much he drives. I I'd love to talk about it over dinner sometime. Well, I usually don't talk on the phone during dinner, but for potential customer Tom Ham, I will make an exception. Oh boy. Those are my favorite John Ham. But uh, no, it was mad. What about John Ham's ham? Yeah. That was a Saturday. Okay. He had his own ham. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> All right, so that was my number one, Dane. All right. So let's go down the count it down one more time before the end of the evening. Number eight was Elvis. Elvis. Number seven was The Woman King. Woo -hoo. Number six was Werewolf by Night. Wah. Number five was The Forgiven. What? Number four was The Black Phone. What? Hello? Number three, three was The Menu. Number two it. was The Batman. <laughs> And number one was Top Gun Maverick. So that was a great way to spend 2022 yep. watching those movies. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's we both had slightly different lists. We had some similarities, but there was a couple that we noticed. What? Three that were similar? No. Oh. Oh, yeah. So um, what movie are you really interested in looking at this in 2023? <laughs> I knew he was going to fuck forget <laughs> I need forget. I need a cue card over yeah. here. Where's my? We need to hire somebody to hold up so cue cards. Movie What's your I, movie that you cannot believe and wait for in 2023? Guys? Number one movie I cannot wait to see in 2023: Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning. Oh. Coming out in July. Tom Cruise Running. cannot wait. Looks awesome. Oh man. So, I completely forgot about that movie. They didn't come out with another trailer. No, uh, not yet. They had like three. Well, because we had commented when we did that one is there was no talking the yeah. entire trailer because they weren't ready with like the voicing. I bet and, you there'll be a Super Bowl trailer. Yeah. Coming oh, up that's with, true. You're right. With it. So. Yeah. He's going to drop in and it's going to be like at the halftime. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Tom will even drop in during the Super I bet mm -hmm. if he could do that, he would do it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure if he could <laughs> do that, he would do it. Like, you know what? He should do it. He should, like, drop in from an airplane, like, and, like, nobody knows anything. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he comes in, everybody thinks it's, you know, a normal dude on a parachute. Then he takes off the helmet, and everybody sees it was freaking Tom Cruise. That Mission that. Impossible, with the music starts yeah. playing. And then they're all like, dun, dun, what? Dun, 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 dun. Except, except I think... Producers, you got to talk to us, because, man, that is an awesome idea. I've got to admit Except, I'm not 100% sure, but... It might be in a dome this year. <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> where it's at. The super no. so, uh, oh, that would be so funny. Because, yeah. I mean, the Queen did it yeah. during the Olympics with uh, James kind Bond. Of, kind of, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't really the Queen, I you know. know. So. We all can wish. All right, so that's my top eight. Everybody that's watching, please subscribe if you haven't. We know that 80% of you watching this right now, not subscribers, Mm -hmm. But we're trying to get to a thousand. What are you really waiting for? Solid. We put out a trailer reaction every day. So you can see a new trailer reaction with us watching it yeah. every day. We put out a trailer review, or excuse me, a movie review every week. And then we have a ton of other stuff coming up from music to other top eight lists to uh, zombies. zombies, all kinds of stuff. But nice you, know, you get that if you subscribe. So hit the subscribe button, like this. We need double digit it's free, likes. It's free, by the way. And then tell us in the comments. We asked you in our in Dane's top eight to watch Dane's top eight, then come watch my mm -hmm. top eight, and then give us each a grade on our top eight. Yeah. Tell us who did a better job. So Troll, well, trolls are welcome. Trolls are welcome on this in the comments. <laughs> in the comments, so, please. So uh, no thumbs down. Yeah. Comments. So Dane. Yes. What do you want to thumb? Oh, what do I want to thumb? 